Hey guys, so today I'm getting ready for a Christmas party and I thought it would be nice to film a video to show you guys my process of getting ready. I actually stayed in a hotel room so I had washed my hair and had a shower at home that morning. So when I got there I just tied my hair up and took my jewellery off, put a dressing gown on and got ready for some pamper time in the hotel before we left for the party. So the first thing I did was take all of my makeup off using Ren's Micellar Water. This actually isn't that great, I just had a travel size one so I took it with me, but it does the job. I took my mascara off and the little bit of makeup I had on. Then I put on a face mask. I used Oscar's Renaissance Mask, which is really good for giving you a kind of instant boost of radiance to your skin and just making you look really glowy and nice, although it does look a little crazy when you have it on. Then I fake tanned just my legs using my Saint Tropez tanning oil. I like using this if I haven't had enough time to kind of plan ahead and tan in advance because it doesn't smell too bad and it also has like a shimmer to it so it makes your legs look really nice instantly. Then I did my nails, I actually did an at home gel kit called Sensational. I'd already done my fingertips in like a berry colour and I did my toes gold and then once I had finished doing my toenails I wiped off my face mask using a damp flannel and then patted my face dry with a towel. And then I did my little skincare routine, so I started off with Cordelie's Eau de Beauty as a toner and just sprayed this onto my face. Oh, it's so refreshing and good. And then for a serum, I used my Ren Keep Young and Beautiful Instant Firming Shot and just did a little drop of this and then smoothed it into my skin. This just helps your skin feel really kind of plumped and smooth. Then I used my face cream, this is the Organic Pharmacies antioxidant face cream. This is my favourite face cream because it feels really kind of moisturising and nourishing for the skin but it isn't heavy, it doesn't kind of leave you with a greasy feeling or anything. For eye cream I use my First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy Eye Cream which is amazing especially if you're going out to a party or something because it gives you an instant brightening effect under your eyes and kind of conceals a bit of your under eye circles before you've even started using makeup. So moving on to makeup, the first thing that I'm going to apply is a primer to make sure that my foundation lasts a long time, which is always a good thing for a party. I'm using my Laura Mercier foundation primer and I'm just smoothing this onto my skin, being careful not to rub it too much because you really want to leave your skin with that smooth finish. Then for a foundation, I'm using my Bourjois 123 Perfect CC Cream, which actually gives you a pretty high coverage, but it doesn't feel cakey or heavy at all on the skin. I'm just blending that into my skin using my Sephora Duo Fiber Foundation Brush which is my fave and then I'm using my Kevin Aucoin Sensual Skin Enhancer which is a very high coverage heavy duty concealer so a little bit goes a long way. I use my finger for this because I think the heat of your finger helps to kind of blend it in better. I apply it to places where I want a little bit more coverage and then I just go back over them and blend it in with my finger along the top of my nose, under my nose, around my chin and under my eyes as well. Then I set my base using my Ben Nye Cameo Powder, just a tiny bit of this, just to make sure my foundation doesn't kind of move or anything. Then for bronzer, I'm using my Hoola Benefit Bronzer and using this just to lightly contour the hollows of my cheeks to make my face appear a little bit slimmer, but nothing major on the contouring front. Then for blusher, I'm going to be using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and I'm using the colour Mood Exposure, which is my favourite colour. It's kind of like a plummy purple tone and yeah applying this using my Hakuhodo blusher brush which again is my favourite blusher brush in the whole wide world and then moving on to eyeshadow I'm using three colours from MAC. The first one is Brulee which is almost a skin tone coloured, almost matte, it's got a slight sheen to it but it's really good colour for using as a base so I'm applying this all over my eyelids using a big eyeshadow brush and then using the same brush I'm going to take a little bit of Naked Lunch which is a shimmery, it's a very pale shimmery colour and then using the same brush just applying this to my eyelids and then also using Satin Taupe, I'm using a blending brush for this and applying this onto my lids and also up into the crease and just kind of blending it out so a really simple eye but a little bit kind of smoky looking. And once I've done both of my eyelids with the Sassy Tope, I'm gonna take a little bit of the same color using a little eyeliner brush and just pull it under my eyes as well along my lower lash line so that the whole kind of look blends together a bit better. Then using my Burberry eyeliner, this is just a black coal eyeliner, I'm going to line my waterline just to make my eyes look a little bit darker and smokier and then I'm using a little bit of this along my upper lash line too and then using that same little eyeliner brush I used before just to blend this out and make it a little bit smoky looking. And then I'm going to fill in my brows using my Tom Ford 
brow pencil in number two, Taupe, and I'm just using this to fill in any sparse areas. I also have a couple of scars in my brows in the middle there as I'm filling in right now, um, just to make them kind of look a little bit fuller and also a little bit of a better shape at the front because that's where I tend to get the biggest problem with my brows. Then moving on to mascara, I'm using Lancome's Grandiose Mascara, which I absolutely love. It has a very funny shaped uh, wand, but I really like it a lot. I'm just going to apply a good couple of coats of mascara onto my upper and lower lashes. Then for lip gloss, I'm using my Laura Mercier Paint Wash Liquid Lip Colour in Orchid Pink, which is a really beautiful deep pink. And then I'm also going to apply a few individual lashes. I'm using one long, two medium and one short in length for each eye and I'm just dipping them in the glue first and then leaving them to dry a little bit before just popping them onto the top of my lashes and these are so easy, they are much easier to apply than strip lashes and they also look a lot more natural too. So once I've done that I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara to my lashes again just to help them blend in with the false lashes a little bit better. So I'm just doing the outer corners with the same mascara just to make them look even more natural. And then moving on to hair, I'm going to take my hair down, as you can see I had it kind of just tied up and it's a bit of a mess. So what I'm going to do first is spray in some of my Oscar Blondie Dry Heat Protectant Spray which is great if you are not washing your hair because you don't have to get your hair wet to use it. So I'm just spraying that all over my hair and then brushing it through using my big paddle brush and then using my Jose Hebert curling wand and taking big sections like two or three inch wide sections and wrapping the ends of my hair around the curling wand three times to create kind of big messy waves almost like a blow dry effect but just not too curly then I'm going to mess up the curls of my fingers just to kind of give it a bit of texture add a bit more texture using my Unite Texturizer Spray which I'm spraying into the roots and the mid lengths and just kind of working it in and then finish it off with a little bit of hairspray so that the curls don't drop out. I'm using my Orbay anti-humidity hairspray. And then last but not least, a little bit of perfume. I'm using my La Prairie Midnight Rain perfume, which was my honeymoon perfume and I love it. And then I'm popping my concealer, perfume, wallet, phone and eyeliner into my bag and I'm ready to go. By this point, Mike was bored silly waiting for me to get ready. So I got him to help film my outfit for the evening. My dress is from Juicy Couture and I just love the rhinestone detailing around the neckline and the waist and it also has really beautiful cutouts on the back as well which I just think are really unusual and pretty. My clutch bag is from M&S and I really love it because it's plain black leather on the one side and then the leopard print on the front and then my shoes are from Prada. I've had these for a couple of years now. They're not that comfortable but they look amazing. I love them and yeah that is my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you have an amazing weekend and enjoy any Christmas parties you're going to. Bye guys! Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a winter essentials video. Winter is definitely here. I feel like it's arrived only in the last couple of weeks in the UK. 